All right, guys. Um, I can hardly hide my excitement. My pet praying mantis, I think, is actually giving birth right now. I, I kind of suspected it was a female, but I wasn't sure. But anyway, this is Rant Roller Sports, and um, I got a treat for you guys today. I want to show my subscribers some love, particularly all my uh, uh, Larry Bird reverse discrimination fans. Um, I know a large part of my subscriber base is based off of those videos. So I want to show you guys some love. A lot of you guys complain in the comments section that, you know, uh, quote unquote, bright, bright guys don't get enough love. In the NBA or basketball, uh, you agree with me that uh, not just Larry Bird, but a, bun a bunch of other bright players have gotten discriminated against or downplayed. Not necessarily discriminated against, but downplayed in NBA history. So uh, what I wanted to do was compile a top five list for you guys. All right. And um, we're going to start with number five. All right. Well, actually... This is not number five, <laughs> but I just did this. I, I, I like this for a screenshot, so hopefully this will come up as a thumbnail, but uh, this man is not number five. Let's go to number five. Number five is John Stockton. For those who don't know, <laughs> that's Jada Kiss rapping, uh, front man of the hip hop group The Locks. John Stockton comes in at number five. He's the only one in my top five lists uh, without a championship ring and without an MVP trophy. But he was so prolific as far as his passing, playmaking, shooting, durability, and defense, and all-around toughness um, that uh, he has to make this list. So you guys can look up John Stockton highlights on your own for the sake of, of time. And not want to waste a lot of you guys' time. Let's go right to number four. And um, number four is uh, the great Bob Cousy. Now, some of you might say, you know, how does he make this list and certain other people doesn't make this list? Well... Uh, six NBA championships and an MVP. He's a 14-time All-Star and just basically was the foundation along with Bill Russell for the greatest dynasty probably in sports history, let alone basketball history. All right, so put some respect on Bob Cousy's name. He's also a native New Yorker like myself. So I got to put the Coos in there, all right? So... Only problem is, like certain uh, older players, their highlight section is all in black and white. You know, that's that's unfortunate because, you know, uh, I can't compare errors. I really don't like to, but I don't want to discredit any errors either. So, down to number three, folks. And number three is none other than the great Dirk Nowitzki. Now, Dirk was the, he wasn't the first stretch four, but he is the stretch four that, that uh, pushed it into the modern era and made everybody pay attention to a tall, power forward that can shoot and score the ball. Dirk was seven foot, 
He easily could have played center, but he had a face-up game that uh, just wouldn't allow him to, to, to play center. He had a, a lot more of a finesse game. I'm sorry about this ad, folks. I'm lazy with editing. Bear with me. All right. But anyway, that's Dirk Nowitzki coming in at number three. Let's go on at uh, number two. And we get the logo. Jerry West, also one of the greatest executives in NBA history. Uh, his credentials are undeniable. Um, all you got to do is check up his stats. Um, he dominated the 60s along with Bill Russell. It just so happened that Bill Russell ended up with all the championships. But I think Jerry West went to the finals like eight, nine times. And he's the NBA uh, silhouette for the logo. All right, some of you may disagree with me. You may want Pistol Pete here or something like that. But Pistol Pete doesn't have the career numbers. He doesn't have the accolades. He doesn't have the championships. Uh, nor does he even have an MVP to his credit in the pros. A lot of Pistol Pete's lore comes from what he did in college, and they kind of combine college and the pros. All right, so sorry, guys. Pistol Pete does not make the top five because number one is the grand slammer of all things basketball Caucasian, Larry Bird. Now, many of you have seen this. I've even talked over this video before. But it's just one of my favorites on here. I know you've all seen it a million times. Uh, all the NBA greats giving him his props and accolades as they should. A lot of you on my channel feel that Larry Bird is the greatest player in NBA history, period. I disagree with you, but I understand. And I don't strongly disagree. I feel that Larry Bird is one of the top three players of all time. Uh, he forms the, the Holy Pyramid and the Holy Trinity to me of Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, and Larry Bird. To me, those three are the best players ever. And uh, nothing is going to change my mind about that anytime soon. If you're talking about a big three, that's the greatest big three you can put together. Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, and Michael Jordan. So anyway, folks, I wanted to show my bright brothers, <laughs> I mean my white brothers, some love on this. Shout out to my man Billy down in uh, Maryland. He's always looking forward to these videos. And a lot of you who debated me in the comment section about Larry Bird. Now, I've gotten into... A lot of you when you try to go too far and say he's better than Jordan and better than Magic. Now, if you want to say he's just as good as those two, I'm I can't fight you on that. But I will not put Larry Bird over Magic or Jordan. I will say if you want to put him on the same level as those two, I have no problem with that. Is Larry Bird the greatest white player of all time? That depends on whatever you grew up in. You grew up in the 60s, you probably would say no. If you in the NBA, if you grow up, you're a little kid now, you would probably say it's Luka Doncic or uh, the Joker, uh, Nikolai Jokic from Denver Nuggets. But anyway, guys, while this video plays, I just want to read to you, while this video is still recording, a reference list of players that I went through for this list very quickly. Larry Bird, Kuzi, Havlicek, Bob Pettit, John Stockton, uh, Pistol Pete Maravich, Jerry West, Dirk Nowitzki, Steve Nash, Bill Walton, Rick Barry, Chris Mullen, Billy Cunningham, Bobby Jones, Tony Kukoc, Mark Price, Dave Cowens, Kevin McHale, Tommy Heinsohn, Mark Gasol, Paul Gasol, Cliff Hagen, Mark Eaton, Jerry Lucas, Paige Stoyakovich, Vladi Divac, Jason Williams, Richie Guerin, George Mikan, 
Gail Goodridge, Dan Issel, Kiki Vandeway, Nikolai Jokic, Rick Smith, Detlef Shrimp, Dave DeBusha, Bill Lambier, Rudy Tomjanovich, Manu Ginobili, Tom Chambers, Paul Westfall, Dan Marley, Jack Sigma, and Kevin Love. Anybody that I left off, you can put them in the comment section. And I'll also put these names in the comment section somewhere. Showing my, uh, my white brother some love on this video. Thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you for the views on the videos. This has been Rant Roller Sports. Do not make it a political video about race. This is just for fun. And this is just to show the white brothers that are in the basketball. You have a, a, a history. You have uh, legends yourself. And um, they're recognized by me and many others. All right. A lot of you get upset and frustrated because you probably feel basketball has been completely <laughs> niggerized. <laughs> but basketball is for everyone. All right, no matter where you come from, if you're great, you're great. And Larry Bird was one of the greatest. Is he the greatest white player? That's up for you guys to decide. Hit me in the comment section. If there's anybody that I left off this list or my reference list that I read off, hit me in the comment section. All right, but please just don't make this a political race video. This is just for fun, guys. All right, Rant Roller Sports. Love you guys.